Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Heroes on the Private Everlasting server. We're once again with Liberty Last, our nearly 10th level tanker. She's got almost a million influence now, 893,000. That's because I sold an orange piece of salvage for her. Um, I decided not to worry about having a vanilla experience with this character uh, the way I was doing with uh, Silver Phoenix. Now we have a new contact and it's this troll guy. Um, but troll guy won't talk to us till 10th level. So I went back to Meg Mason, or called her up. She's basically the equivalent of radio missions in this zone. She has no story arcs, but she'll give you hollow missions, like sort of random missions in the hollow so that you don't have to go to another zone. I was going to actually go out to King's Row and do a radio mission, and I'm going to do some radio missions with Liberty Last to show you what they're like. Um, but before I do that, uh, I figured since I was in this zone, I'll just do this. So we got to retrieve a stolen shipment. And um, so this is for Meg Mason, our co colleague, who will apparently not be giving us a story arc, but she'll give us random missions in the hollows like this. So this should get us to level 10, and then Julius will talk to us. And we'll see whether we do that. Probably not, because I've got some errands to run, so I've got about a half hour. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be heading to Pennsylvania. I live in North Carolina, so I'm going to be heading to Pennsylvania to visit my family. Don't know if I'll be able to do much City of Heroes when I'm up there. Depends on my sister's Wi-Fi, I guess. And uh, so here we are. And this may be one of my final missions before I leave. So hopefully it'll be a good one. Alright, so surprisingly quiet in this abandoned office considering there are a bunch of trolls guarding an important crate inside. There's no way this is a coincidence yet. This isn't an office, though. It's a warehouse, so I don't know why they called it an office. All right. You and me, buddies. So he knows we have an empty tray of inspirations. That's because we used them all up on Frostfire in the last episode. Um, I don't know how long it's been since I posted that, because I haven't posted any of the Liberty Last stuff yet, but this is just about 20 minutes after I... Um, did that episode. I just went to Wentworth's and came back. Missing a lot. There we go. We won't need this, so I'll go ahead and chow down on it. So we need to find three crates. There's one of them. Guarded by a lieutenant. Anybody else? There's a patrol right there. So we're gonna see if we can fight him first. And then come back. This guy is a Jutai? Jutol. I don't know what that means. Plus one lieutenant takes a long time as a tank. But notice our endurance is holding up pretty well. Oof. Oh, and there's more. Let's see if we can pull this guy. wanted to keep him away from the other guys. Gonna need some dull pain. There we go. So at this point with dull pain on we have 389 hit points. Right, I think we have something like 291 or something without it. Like when you're in the high levels and you have like a thousand hit points and you trigger dull pain, you get like 600 more. That's just, it's so awesome. It's a great power to have. 
Should be able to do this one. Alright, so there's a crate. Now we'll take care of these guys. Slugger, we don't need that. We have a lot of the same blows. Although he's got a gun, which I don't. Got him. Two beads to level. So now we're going to take a knee here. You notice we don't really take a knee as much with the tanker as we did with our scrapper, if you've been watching those episodes. On the other hand, we really started taking a knee with the scrapper in what I call the puberty levels that start around level 10, 11. So in upcoming missions, once we start working with the troll guy, we're probably going to have more knee taking. In particular, when we have more toggles like invincibility and temporary vulnerability uh, running, we're definitely going to have more need to recover with endurance. We're going to need to three slot stamina. It's pretty much standard when you're a toggle runner. You've got to have stamina to help recovery. Okay, that's him. Love knocking him down. See, he was about to attack me and he got knocked down and he never got the blow off. Now we got another guy coming at me. Alright. This must be a patrol. Because I didn't go over to aggro them. That takes care of him. Next guy. These are all white cons, so no problem there. So this is this is a very survivable build at this point. Um, oh shoot! I didn't mean to hit that. I was just trying to move it. Um, it's not flashy. It's not quick. Missions take a longer time with the tanker. That's just the way it is um, when you're solo. But it's a very survivable build. It's a very survivable power set to have invulnerability. It's a great power set. One of the better defensive power sets. And one of the originals. It was pretty much considered, I think, the second best defensive power set behind Stone for a long time. Ice was considered one of the weaker ones. Fire was kind of in between. And we're getting our inspirations back. We've pretty much got a full tray now. a Jutal, but he's lower level. He's my level instead of being orange to me. Belpain's probably pretty close to coming back. There it is, so in case we need that, we have it. Anybody else in the room? I don't see anybody else.
still have two stolen shipments to retrieve. There's one. Okay. That gets us some influence. Oh, there's some bad guys. Thought we were done down here, but apparently not. Often, there are often some down here waiting under the stairs, essentially. Good. Let's go ahead and take that. Now we get to 10th level, we get another uh, tray, another um, two slots in our tray. That's perfect. Don't really need that, so I'll go ahead and take it. And I'm sorry, the, the gardeners are back. I hope you don't hear them. If you do, I do apologize. Nothing I can do about it. So we gotta go this way. There's a brawler, and there's the last item. Right there. Right there. Okay, let's take a rage. Enraged, whatever it is. Anybody else? Yep. Two more. Must have been part of the spawn over here and just wandered back where they couldn't see. So they didn't aggro when I started beating on him. guys here. But I doubt it. This guy at least doesn't seem to exist. Oh, we're so close to leveling, guys. I'm going to just go beat these two up. If they're here. Yep. This will probably level us. Let's see. There it is! Level 10. Excellent. Alright. We're done with this mission. We can head out. And we can go level up. Yeah, so space bar. Um lets you increase your altitude. Look at all the pretty colors streaming from us because of all the buffs. Alright, so we're just going to level up and I think um, Well, we might have time for one more mission, because I have about 15, 18 minutes left. We'll have to see what kind of a mission this guy gives us. Oh, we gotta call her, and now she's happy. We haven't maxed out our contact level with her, but that's alright. So, back to foreshadow. So now the question is, what do we take? We can get resist energies or elements. We can get haymaker. We can get hover, which I'm going to need at some point. Let's see. We can get taunt also. I think I'm going Haymaker. I think we need another attack. High damage. It's 
going to recharge more slowly than the others, but it does good damage. And that's our range attack. We're not going to need that as much. We earned our badge for getting to 10th level. And we have an available respect, which we do not need in a free tailor session. And we got another badge. Protector of Innocence, I guess. Okay. So. Let us go to Julius the Troll. And he should be willing to talk to us now. This is a pretty large zone. I would say Atlas Park is probably like that. So this zone's like two Atlas Parks, two Paris Parks. It's a pretty big zone. But it caters to a longer, larger level range. It, you know, Alice Park only caters to about a five level range. So does King's Row. This uh, area caters, caters to like five to 20, I think, or five to 18, at least five to 15, right? Because we're level 10. We're gonna do the level 10 story arc here. Now my guess is this story arc will get us to 11 or 12, and then we may be done at least until level 15 with the hollows, and then we're gonna move out. And then we'll try some detective missions. We maybe maybe we'll get some tips and do some tip missions. Um, we may do some story arcs. We'll see uh, some of the original story arcs. But we've done so much with uh, Silver Phoenix already that I don't want to do too much repetitiveness. In the first few levels, you can't help it, especially since we were both natural characters. Um, but in later levels, I tr I'm going to try to do some different things. Okay, so we're with the troll, and he says, you and me, we go and work together. See? I tell you everything I know. I tell you this. Trolls forcing people work as slaves. This not good? Take on a few and show them who's boss. Okay. So defeat ten trolls. And there are some trolls right there. So here we go. Now let's watch how Haymaker works. Here it is. 32 damage for that. 24 from the other one, so it does about 50% more damage than Punch. Nice. Where'd this other troll go? Come over here. So if we look at the info on this, right? Haymaker does 26 damage base. And has a chance of knockback, knockdown. So 26 damage base and costs eight endurance. Punch does 15 damage base and costs five endurance. And Jab does 12 damage base and costs 3 endurance. So we're going to do a lot more damage now just because we don't have to keep brawling. Right? We did 29, 14 with that. What does brawl do? 8. Right? So brawl's the weakest. Very cool. Now we're definitely going to want to put rechargers on these. Coralax, I don't even know what those are. But we got to defeat a few more trolls, so let's start. the Corlax. Uh, no, no, no. We're not, we're not, no. I'm not interested in fighting Corlax. I want to fight trolls. Alright. Let's find some trolls. We need two more. These guys are way too high a level. Oh, 
Those are outcasts. Skulls. Trolls, but too high a level. Trolls, too high. Yeah, I'm not going for red cons at this point. We're only 10th level. Swarms, those are devouring earth. There's a troll. What are you doing? Drilling for treasure? Okay. And more trolls here, and this will be the end of it. We got our clue. Page from a diary. So it says, this tattered scrap of paper reads, the dreams will not stop. It is as if these igneous creatures wish me to know something more. I have deciphered a word of their language. I believe Mong means go. Interesting. I feel like I've read that clue before. All right, so we're going to go back to Julius the Troll, and then I think I'll stop this episode. As you can see, one nice thing about um, flight is that you can just hit auto, like I'm not even touching the mouse now, and just go. Just aim straight at it. And if I wanted to, I could walk away and go get a glass of water. Um, there's no danger at all. The only danger is you walk away too long, you come back, and your character's trying to fly through the war walls. But other than that, it's a nice, safe way to travel. And let's talk to him. And he says, you done good hero, real good. I impressed. Trolls be scared of Liberty Lass. Trolls do bad things for the hollows. Bad, 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 bad things. Trolls dam up Red River to flood spaces. Stop trolls from damming. Gotta defeat ten trolls. Alright guys, we're gonna do that another time. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll be back next time with another episode of City of Heroes.